The biggest things that I really believe every business needs, okay, is some targets along the way. Now, I'll try to write so you can actually read it, because normally I can't even read it, okay? One of the things I do every single day, every single day, May 6, 2021, wrote down my goals, right? Is writing down my goals every single day. We talked about this last night as well, okay? You did it? Okay, good. There we go, okay, boom, I love that. It, 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 who else? did that today, by the way, okay? So, so, so think about this, thank you, sir, okay? And because you've heard me freaking hounding it for 120 days since we met in Miami. That's right, that's Brian from uh, uh, Iowa. Um, if there's one thing you can do that will drastically grow your company, it's to write down your goals every single morning. Now, some of you are like, dude, I don't know what to write down, right? Well, that's part of the problem which is okay, you're here, we're gonna fix that, but if you don't know where you're going, you can't ever fix it, can you? Right, and you can't ever get there, right? It's like trying to shoot a target, like Lauren was with Elena uh, at this 10X Operation Bad A event, uh, since I try not to curse very much. Bad ass event, okay? And, and they were shooting at targets, and Lauren actually won the competition amongst all the women for like accuracy of shooting. <laughs> And I've never seen her shoot before. So I was like, where'd that come from? Okay. Where, uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thanks. There you go. Thinking about it before. I didn't even know I needed a marker, but apparently I, I need a better one because this one isn't doing so well. So thank you. And the, well, what I was, why I was getting to that story is, before I forget, is she, she had targets that she was shooting at. Like if you don't have some targets in your business that you're shooting at or that you're headed for, like you're not gonna get there, right? So, so here's the things that I write down. And there's gonna, be, there's gonna be some people that try to give me a run for my money, but here's the things that I write down every single day. I'm the number one speaker in the world, because I will be, right? And it was funny, Ernest was talking to me last night, he's like, dude, you've gotten so much more comfortable public speaking than you, even maybe since the retreat too, he's like, since, uh, He's like, dude, I've been watching you for, for you know, a while. And he's like, man, you get so much more comfortable, right? I don't get nerves anymore for something like this, but like bigger events or every step along the way, you better believe I was like pissing my pants and nervous as can be, right? But now I'm like, man, I'm, 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 the more I do this, the better you get at, at this, right? The more you get at writing down your goals, the more you're likely to, to start to, what do you got? Oh, right, bigger, okay. We'll try. Okay, next, we sell $1 million every 30 days. Okay, that's, our, that's just our sales teams, right? I mean, if you take the company accumulation, we already do that. However, I want just our sales people to do that between just marketing and CA sales, by the way. And I think, well, marketing already hit over 100 grand this week in, 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 in sales, and it was yesterday, <laughs> in three days. So will we get there? Absolutely, quarter million dollars a week, right? We'll get there by, we'll, we'll probably get there by the end of this year. But I'm writing that down because I'm future casting that, right? I'm thinking ahead about that. Um, I'm also writing down that Askins Acquisitions, that's what AA stands for, okay? Just in case you're wondering. Owns 1,000 apartment units, right? Like I, we, we, we bought a storage facility right behind, right behind our office because the owner was selling it, he had a deal and it fell through. He's like, do you want it? I'm like, yes. He's like, we well, don't even know how much I'm asking. I'm like, I don't care. And what are you asking? He's like, I have a five and a quarter. I'm like, I'll give you 500 grand. You in? He's like, well, let's, let's take some time and think about this and let's, let's, let's you know, think, make sure you want it after he gives me a tour. And I'm like, dude, I look at him. I'm like, hey, you just had an offer. It fell through. You're acting like you're getting all these offers. I am signing on this today and you're not leaving until we do, okay? <laughs> you're selling me the storage facility, right? Because time kills all deals. Guess what? Next day, he gets an offer for $15,000 more, all cash. So should I have waited or should I have not waited, right? No, because it's right behind our building. My assistant can run the company. And when I start looking at projections and numbers, that thing can, has the potential to do $100,000 a year, right? I mean, that's like you start running the math, you start, like, you start learning real estate, this thing is freaking good. And we can brand it as us, it's on the campus. Like it's, it's a power statement. It's like, dude, why not, right? Uh, I also write down, I need to start writing CLA, babe, instead of CA, because my wife and I want 
a beach house, a jet, obviously. Who knew I wanted a plane before you came here today, okay? <laughs> Who didn't, okay? And a helicopter. I just added that this year. I'm like, yeah, I, she wrote in one this past week with the Cardones. I'm like, I want a freaking helicopter too. I'm like, how cool would a retreat be, David, if we're rolling to dinner in a helicopter instead of a charter bus? Yeah. <laughs> My husband can fly it for you. Boom, there we go. Okay, we're already halfway there. We got the pilot. <laughs> Andy, go, go buy us a helicopter. Come on, okay. Um, what else am I writing down? Uh, I'm the number one speaker in the world. So a million dollars every 30 days. Apartment units, owns beach house, et cetera. Um, I'm also writing down that uh, 8% has 10,000 attendees. I'm also writing down that our total company revenues equal $100 million plus. And now I'm starting writing down, because it'll help me get to this goal quicker, that we have 50 salespeople. So are you writing all these down every day? Or I am. Every single morning, all of them. Yep. And that's a lot. And some, some, everybody, you, you get 100 opinions on how to write down goals. They will all be different, by the way. Okay, Jillian can attest to that. They will all be different, right? However, this is, I'm writing them, number one, as if it's happened, right? You don't see, like, I will be the number one speaker. Like, no, no, I am, right? Like, you can see the way I'm wording those things. And, and a lot of people would say, well, you need some that are, like, smaller so that you feel like you're getting some wins and some confidence. Sure, right? And, and, and sometimes you do. We have wins happen in our world every 14 seconds. And so I'm like, dude, I'm focusing on like down the road, right? This is future casting. This is vision, okay? So these are the big things that I'm focused on. And I've told my team, and I'll tell you guys the, the importance of goals, there's never been anything that I've written down that did not come true at some point. Which, because if you, I, I asked my sales team recently, I'm like, guys, Brian Tracy says write down your goals. Les Brown says write down your goals. Grant Cardone says write down your goals. Tony Robbins says write down your goals. Cody Askins says write down your goals. <laughs> I lumped them in there. There's a little brand, brand authority. I'm like, if every single wealthy person in the world, the most successful people on the planet, are doing this single activity every day, why isn't everyone doing this single activity every day? So now, you go into my sales room, and I'll ask this question, who wrote down their goals this morning in our 20-person sales meeting in the morning? Literally, 90% of the room will raise their hand. And they're all making more money than they've ever made. But I'll ask, it's funny, I'll ask an audience. Like I was at Nate Swat event and I said, hey, who wants to, who wants to be successful, right? Who believes you have another gear? Who believes that you can learn something from successful people? Who believes if the success people said you should do something that you would do it? <laughs> who believes that if I said there's one thing that helped me get to where I'm at because I'm doing it, who would do it, right? And then I ask, Who's ever heard of writing down your goals every day? And everybody raised their hands. And I said, okay, who wrote them down this morning? Like two people, right? So, please, for you, if you get anything out of this weekend, and you can get a lot more, this is the number one thing I want you to get. Because when you get it, and when you actually adopt it, and, 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 and it takes me 90 seconds. It takes me like 90 seconds a day to write these things down. Now, this weekend, it's all about you starting to think about what does this look like? What does your company look like? How many staff do you have? How much revenue do you do, right? I mean, truthfully, here's what I want. I want, and it'll get bigger along the way, by the way, okay? I want a four-story building, glass tower in Springfield, Missouri. Maybe bigger, by the way, okay? Uh, you got SIG, right? For, for, for retail purposes, for Medicare clients, right? You got Secure Agent Marketing, you got CA, you got uh, part of this is like a little workout facility, and part of this is a big event space, so that we can do stuff like this in the top of the glass tower overlooking Springfield, okay? Why not? And then we've got a um, rooftop balcony for, for, for parties, so we can start having our socials on the top of our own building. That'd be a little, little cooler, wouldn't it, right? And, Helicopter pad. <laughs> Why not? Okay? Why not? I'm telling you guys, everything I've ever wanted has came true because of this exercise.
I mean, because we'll do between those, just those three companies, we've got a few others that are smaller. We'll do over 13 million bucks this year. Is this going to happen? Absolutely. You couldn't convince me it's not going to. Okay. And I will prove anyone wrong that doesn't think so. 8% has 10,000 attendees. Do I believe if others can throw a conference with 10,000 that I can too? Absolutely. I'm learning stuff every single year to possibly pull that off later. Right? Like, does it, does it, does it kill me that, like, you know, to have 350 last year during COVID? Absolutely. Right? I hated that. But I was also the only one to do it, too. Because I looked at the team, and we're like, dude, the, the, nobody's doing events right now. Everybody's like, Tatiana's thinking we're not even going to do it. She's like, I'm in, I'm in New Jersey, and, and, and Malia's telling her, I'm going to the event. And she's like, Cody's not doing that. They're not, it's, it's, there's, it's COVID. It's 2020. He's not doing an event. She just told me this two days ago. She's like, I, I'm not, he's not doing an event. And what, and what did Malia tell you? That you were the only crazy lunatic there is. <laughs> yes. And, and, and. and And did we do it, right? And did we do it? And, and next thing I know, I, I look at her and she's going to the airport and I'm like, fuck <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I should have went. I should have believed her, okay? So do I believe, though, like right now we have 830-ish tickets sold for 8%. Like we, we have it on my whiteboard. We track it every single day. Like I know the number at all times, by the way. Kelly will be updating on my whiteboard today, by the way, in my office. So if, if you were given, if you ever walked through my office, you saw the actual 8% real numbers. And I don't care if you see them. Most people do events. They don't want you to know how many people are coming. I don't care because I'm already like proclaiming what I want to eventually happen. So like they're, they're already telling us like 988 is the absolute max you can get in this room at the, in Dallas at the Statler. We'll find a way to fit 12 more chairs. Because if you can get to 1,000, you might as well get to 1,000, right? I don't care if I got to go give out tickets to 12 homeless people and, and change their life. <laughs> I don't care, right? When you get that close, you better get to 1,000, right? Why, I mean, why not do, why not do retreats at, at a beach house, right? Uh, one, one of the things that will be really incredible that, that will happen at some point is I, we would love to also own a home on the beach in, like, the Bahamas and fly there whenever we want. Why not? Right? Why not? Right, PJ? Right? Why, why not? 1,000 apartment units because I'm getting obsessed with, I'm starting to get obsessed with real estate a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's fun. I've, I've ignored it for far too long. I've, that's the biggest mistake. There's been a mistake I've made. It's not buying real estate sooner. Right? So you may see our brand like shift to where we're still insurance focused, but we start including a lot more real estate in the future as well as we're starting to grow. I and mean, there's only so many subscribers you can get in the insurance industry. We're like 36,000 now and growing. Um, like I was telling Ernest last night and Tatiana told me like when you do an interview with us on our YouTube channel, you get 40 messages within hours the same night. Like she's a recruited, she's recruited like 20 people. <laughs> That's crazy, but it's fun. We can do this. I really believe, like right now, I believe the best pure motivational speaker on the planet is probably Eric Thomas. Unreal. He's speaking at 8% Nation 2021 in July in Dallas. Okay, so I don't care what you got to cancel. I don't care what you got to do. I don't care if I got to pick you up. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss 8% this year. If you think any other event we've ever done has been good, you will leave this one. At the end of, at, on July 25th, you will walk out on Sunday saying, holy freak, I didn't think they could make it any better. And it's going to get better every year. Why? Because you should get better every time you do something, right? Every time I get up to speak, I, I literally, we record a lot of this stuff because I go back, whether we put it up or not, I go back and personally watch it. Why? Because for us to expand all this stuff and for this stuff to become true, I've got to get better at this. So I don't know if I've done it. One of the things I always, I have the worst habit in the world of when I speak. What is it? Touching my belt. Fidgeting in general. Yes. I don't think I, I think I've been better so far today. Why? Because I've been watching myself and I'm like, dude, you got to stop that crap. Like you cannot be the number one speaker in the world if you touch your belt every 12 seconds. Okay. <laughs> right. So you got to know that stuff about you too, to start expanding, right? Like you've got to be really what, what you've got to do is you've got to be in the know to a certain extent. 
Andy, are there things that happen literally every single day that you do not tell me about? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Most people think, dude, I want to know. I don't. Right? I don't. Like we got some, you know, employee that leaves and becomes a psycho. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to know either. Here's what I've also learned, okay, that, and, and, and some of you can already relate to this. There's going to be people that come in your life that join your team that you believe are there for the long term, that you believe are going to change the face of your company forever, that you believe you want to do anything you can to keep them, and they're going to leave. I guess you, probably didn't, you guys probably didn't expect me to say that. They're going to leave, and it's going to be the best thing for your company. Anybody that doesn't want to make this ride is an idiot. That's what I believe. I believe everyone in the city of Springfield should be working for Cody Askins or one of our companies at some point in the future. Why not? Right? And I'm telling you, there's been key moments. Like, for example, uh, uh, Landon, we had a specific person on the marketing staff 18 months ago that left. And Landon's like, dude, what are we going to do? I'm like, dude, it's fine. He's like, I don't know. This is a big, this was important, dude. I'm like, dude, it's fine. It's, trust me, it's going to be okay. Literally two weeks later, he's like, I think that was the best thing that ever happened to us. So that is going to happen to you, right? You've got to just be focused on the future, right? And the vision. And the people piece will take care of itself. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. I used to knock on the door of the brokers. Wow. So I used to make connections with brokers. You gotta be a good salesperson and good with people to connect with a Wall Street broker like. You have to. Right yes. there, cold, right? You have to and you have to find out that point that they are looking for, how much money.